The fact that I had reached the point where I could no longer buy off the pegs clothing even at the big shops hello gorgeous how are you doing welcome back to my channel gosh it's 2020 it is all going on oh, i've got a lot to report today now report discuss go over whatevs all sorts going on uh, some weight loss updates some channel updates some project updates or let's get the big one out of the way this is my first actual vlog of 2020 and Today, as I write this, I had three years ago today on this date, I had my mini gastric bypass in Belgium. <laughs> I don't know why, that isn't even the Belgium National Anthem, but it's really funny. So yes, three years ago today, and I have lost lots of weight. 26 stone or something, and hundreds of pounds of, of weight. Can't do maths, driving, honest. Here's the thing, okay? A year ago, in a month's time, in 11 months today, I had gender reassignment surgery in Thailand. And if you're new to the channel, it kind of knocked me out of the out of things for a while, and I haven't trained. So this is, I'm, I'm only this now getting back into training. However, uh, I lost a lot of weight, which was great. And I have gained a little bit back, if I'm honest. Last year, because I, I literally stopped going to the gym. I as you, you may have seen, I occasionally tried to go back and it just hurt too much. And that's now, I'm now back at the gym regularly. Today is bum day. I've been going at my glutes, my bum, quite hard. That sounds, that sounds like an entirely different video. I've been doing a lot of work, so I want, I want, to, get my, I want to get a really nice bum. I've, I've had bum implants, as you know. A bum implant isn't everything. You also have to support that with exercise and, you know, it's, it's just easier with bum implants. It doesn't do all the work for you. And I've had two of my friends have commented that my bum is looking good. So how cool is that? That's nice. And they didn't, they didn't know, by the way, that I've been back in the gym and training hard on, on bum stuff. So, anywho, I digress. Three years ago, I lost that weight. I, I had bariatric surgery and it's been, it was life-changing. It was absolutely life-changing. And I know there are some people out there who are all like, ah, ah, I lost weight the natural way. I didn't need surgery. Well, good for you. That's fine. Don't ring other people as parades who needed surgery. I was 50, no, 47 when I had surgery. I tried everything to get the weight loss off through natural means. And I failed. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I, I'm quite open about that. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I changed the game, had surgery. That's the important part here. You, you do, you find what works for you to lose weight. Because here's the thing. If you're very overweight, as I was, and a lot of people in the world are, you're not healthy. You're going to die much sooner than if you weren't overweight. So regardless of how you get the weight off, that is still a better option than remaining overweight. Which kind of takes me to another ranty thing oh, and I'm gonna get some hate for this and I don't mean to and it's not meant at individuals I promise I absolutely promise I know I was at this place I was shopping in Swansea last weekend and one of the stores had a plus size model a mannequin in the window and I don't know how I feel about this it's as if we're normalizing obesity now look don't don't miss and misinterpret what I'm trying to say here, okay? I get it, and I know it's nice to see the plus size clothes, what they look like before you buy them. <laughs> Don't, I, tr I, I've drunk from that fountain, my friend, I promise you, okay? But I'm not so not sure that it's healthy that we say we should be accepting of obesity. And I'm not saying we need to attack people who are overweight. Quite the opposite. I know what it's like. It sucks, okay? But I'm also not sure that we should be pushing our society to say morbidly obese is, is great. Now look, don't get me wrong, okay? Curvy is fine. You can be big and you can be healthy. Uh, I'm, according to the BMI scales and what have you, I'm, I'm moments from death right now. My BMI is wrong. My weight for my height is all over the place. And yet, my heart and my lungs and my cardiovascular system and all of that stuff is fitter than most people's in, in the percentile. So you can absolutely be curvy. You can be big. I'm not saying you have to be a stick insect here. But at the same time, there's curvy and then there's being, and, and where that line is drawn is a tough one, I understand. If you want to be overweight, if that's how you want to live your life, you crack on, okay? It's your life and everyone should leave you the hell alone, okay? No problem. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted, shall we say. I've, I'm conflicted here and, I, 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 and you know, well, what do you think? Leave, leave, uh, this, is, this is a good talking point. Do you, am, I, am I right? Am I, am, I, am, I, am I wrong for thinking this? I don't understand. 
and I'm ah, oh, don't hate me. I'm sorry. Part of it also comes from the fact that I know how unhappy I was being very overweight. I mean, very unhappy. I couldn't. Society doesn't really. <laughs> well, you don't fit into society, literally, physically. You know, you. The fact that I had reached the point where I could no longer buy off the pegs clothing even at the big shops it was a real wake up for me it was like okay even in the clothes which were tr which were plus 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 sizes what i did where i didn't look particularly good in so i'm not sure about how i feel about normalizing obesity i don't think it's good i'm not saying attack people for being overweight anywho i am now at the gym i'll see you real soon Hello, bum day. So I've just done my bum. Lots and lots of bum exercises, squats, air squats, donkey kicks, side raises, leg raises. And then I did a finisher. I wanted to see, um, so I'm doing a half marathon in November. I'm doing the Walt Disney World Wine and Dine half marathon. And I wanted to run it at pace. Several years ago, I was there with a friend of mine, Stephen, and he did a two hours 20. That was the pace he set. So I'm trying to reach that, the same pace that Stephen did, 220. It's going to be a challenge. And um, I just tried to, to do that pace right now. Pace that I would need to maintain an average of for two hours and 20 minutes. I got 30 seconds. 30 seconds at race pace and wanted to die. So I've got a steep hill to climb, just saying. It's a ladder, is basically what I... I may need an elevator for this. I have it, my work cut out for me. So, which brings me to my next point of discussion here. People often ask me, how do I do it? How do I manage my goals? How do I achieve things? They're lovely, and they say things like, oh my God, you're amazing, I do this. And that's, that's, that's cool, I don't particularly think that, but it's nice that people recognize the fact that I'm quite good at setting goals and getting them done and achieving them. I can't do them all. Wait, loss is a good example of something well no, yes i have done it now but i tried all kinds of ways for that to work and I, you know and i and i failed trying the willpower approach and i tried something else and that's kind of what it comes down to is if you really want to do something you break it down into steps and I'm, this is not new this is not this is not rocket science here. but you break anything down into small steps but the way to think of them is called smart steps and smart is a mnemonic and it stands for small measurable a for achievable it has to be you can't say i want to set on a goal of climbing everest next week if you haven't climbed a mountain before that's probably not achievable r for relevant so it needs to be relevant to what you're trying to achieve you have a bigger picture here you have the, the, the your eyes on your on the prize the bigger goal your smart goals need to be relevant to that bigger prize that's what the r is and t is timed you can't just say one day I want to do the thing and I know again it's a, you know it's a, it's a meme but but one day never comes you have to say by this day I want to do this thing so for me by November I want to be able to run a two hour 20 half marathon so to do that I have to break it down into smart goals and so each week I have a goal which says this week I will run 15 kilometers or I will run 20 kilometers five at my race pace for, or whatever you know and a running club I've, I've got I have I have actually got a plan that I'm following but this is true for absolutely any Thing that you want to achieve in life. So one of my goals this year is to launch a video game company. Well, to do that, I need a website, I need um, an audience, I need some games to sell. So I break all of that down into what I have to do in order to achieve that goal. And it's a life dream to run my own video game company. Well, and this year I'm going to do that. Tube Spanner, my software tool. I have a, I have a goal to build a business on YouTube. And one of the best ways that I could see to do that was to build some tools, build some shovels for gold miners, you know, build um, some uh, tools to help people, in, myself included, do YouTube better. And it's designed to help creators get started on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever their platform is. And it guides people. As a novice, YouTube, YouTube Spanner will get you set up and get you running. As an experienced YouTuber, it'll help you get monetized and create ways for you to make money from your channel so that you can earn a living from YouTube. And as a professional YouTuber, it'll help you with your with your times with your workflow telling you when to put your next videos out when you did a really good video six months ago do another one of those now it'll keep track of that for you and tell you when to to do those videos and there's a big event coming so if you've got a technology tech channel ces is out this weekend so now is the time to get your tv reviews in or whatever it does all of that stuff for you it uses artificial intelligence a few weeks away from going live we're now in open beta 
we have a two thousand people registered on the system in the first two weeks. No, in the first week. The the amazing Nick Nimin gave us a shout out on his channel. Boom, two thousand people turned up. <laughs> That is amazing. So Tube Spanner is off to one hell of a start. I can't, my mind is blown by how many people have joined already. Yeah, a link to that below as well. Go ahead and sign up, it's fine. But that's how I do it. And here's the important part when you're setting smart goals for yourself. You have to make those a priority. You have to make those things important. It's all well and good making yourself some goals, some steps, some smart steps to achieve. But if you don't prioritize those, you aren't going to do them. So it's all well and good saying, I want to lose four pounds this week and then go and eat pizza every night because then that eating pizza was more important than adhering to your goal. You're wasting your time unless you make goals that you're prepared to, to try to accomplish. Oh, one more thing. I'm in the middle of um, a a weight loss diet reveal. So I'm, I'm doing Huel at the moment and I've been trying other, you know, homemade food, steam cooked food, all sorts of stuff. So I'm currently doing Huel and a, a bunch of other weight loss products. So look out for that video soon. I'll be reviewing them all, seeing what's best and, you know, trying to be as objective as I can regarding them all. That is it. If you're still here, well, well, well. Thanks for being still here. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Honestly, I think you're watching, you're amazing. I, I love you so much. Please make sure that you, you're well, that you're looking after yourself, that you're good. And don't be afraid to reach out if you're not. You, you're wonderful, you know? As always, don't forget to comment, share. If you haven't subscribed already, now was a good time to hit that subscribe button. Hit that alarm bell so you'll be notified specifically when I put content out. And I will see you in the very next show. Thank you so much for watching. Popping up, popping up over there, over there, on one side of me. It's the last show I put out. And below that is the one that YouTube thinks you should watch next. I'll see you in the very next show. Thank you so much. Bye.